case, my name's Laura and I am the Specky Seamstress. Today, I'm going to show you Facebook fabric shopping. Yep, you literally cannot escape fabric shopping. Anything you do on the internet Before now. Before I start, I am wearing a Deer and Doe Sirocco jumpsuit and a Seamwork Jill coat again. The fabric for the jumpsuit is from Minerva Crafts. And this make will be on the Minerva Crafts Maker uh, blog in the next couple of months or so. Um, the Seamwork Jill, I love the Seamwork Jill pattern. And I've seen some really nice little short versions. And I've wanted to make one to wear to work. And this didn't really turn out right. But it just wasn't the right fabric. It was nothing to do with the pattern. It's just a ponty that I picked up um, on Facebook <laughs> from Colville Fabrics, who I'll be talking about in a minute and uh it's become a bit of a like slept around the house in so i'm not feeling very well today and this is quite a nice sort of cozy outfit the jumpsuit is secret pajamas and um yeah this is a bit like a, <laughs> a cardi really behind now facebook fabric shopping have you ever done it it's quite new to me i've been buying fabric on facebook now for a few months and i kind of categorize the the shops on there into three and a half types of shop or three and a half types of page and I'll go through them in this video. <laughs> so the first one of my three and a half uh, categories is just shops that sell on Facebook <laughs> and that's it just there that's that's where they sell that's where their shop front is and um, I buy from two of these and one of them is Colville Fabrics which is where I got the Ponty for this and they sell mostly three meter cuts of stretch fabric um various different types of ponzi and sweatshirting and jersey and ity um but yeah they they're all really cheap they're like nine or ten pounds for three meter cuts they do also sell some cottons that are by the meter and um, that's been reasonably new i've not seen that very much before but have done recently um and they sell through a Facebook Live video sale every Sunday. So you can go onto their page and there'll be a video of them showing the fabric and you can buy it. Um, but I don't buy through that because I, there's something about my internet. It just doesn't work for me. The stuff is sold out before I can even see it. But then the fabrics are put back up on the page on Tuesday and you can just buy from the page. You take um, The other shop that I buy from that's under that first category is Tilly B Fabrics. Now, I've only just recently discovered Tilly B Fabrics and Colville, I blame on Rach from Stitched Up because I didn't know about them until I watched her videos. So thank you, uh, thank you, Rach. My bank balance doesn't like you, but my fabric stash loves you. <laughs> and um, Tilly B Fabrics, I found from Claire at Penguin and Pear Dressmaking. And she also sells um, stretch, mostly stretch fabrics. And um, this is a scuba crepe that I picked up from them. Now, rather than selling things in three metre cuts, she sells things at kind of between two and £2.50 a metre. Um, a few things are a little bit more, but not very much. And I picked up some just plain black and navy viscose jersey. Uh, shipping's pretty quick. And similar sort of ballpark range, like a fiver-ish for shipping. I think I paid a fiver for like nine or ten metres of fabric. Um, for shipping and my total bill came to 21 or 22 pounds or something it was it was really cheap so um well worth looking out for um because I hate buying plain fabrics <laughs> I don't hate buying it but I always feel like if I'm going to spend my money on a fabric I get kind of distracted and excited by the prints and not the planes but then I come to sew things and I think oh, I really need you know a plain black top or a plain skirt because I can't wear all the clashing prints all the time and um, so yeah that was really good for that so that's category one <laughs> done i'm sure there's loads more please do tell me in the comments box because i'd love to know of other places that i could spend my money topping up my fabric stash <laughs> so so i said there were two <laughs> shops like that in category one but there's actually three because there's another one called bblb um, and they sell fabrics they kind of get mystery bundles through from people I think warehouses and things and then um, they sell them on they tend to get kind of a few meters of various types of fabric um, and they do a sale um, where they just post stuff in their group 
every Friday and every Tuesday at 8 o'clock. I've not bought anything from these yet, but I do have a look. And they do have some nice fabric. They're not hugely cheap. They're kind of £13 a metre. But they do get some quite unusual designs. Um, and I'm on the hunt for some gaming fabric that they've had. So <laughs> I might be buying something from them soon. <laughs> so method number two is... Uh, D-stash groups. Now, this is a huge category. There are hundreds of D-stash groups from what I gather. Um, I'm part of a few in the UK and a few in the US, which I will link below. Um, but if you type fabric D-stash into your Facebook search bar, you will come up with loads. These vary for me. Now, I'm pleased I'm part of them and I can kind of scroll and have a look. But I find Although the intention is that they are for personal de-stash, kind of, you know, I, I've got too much fabric, I don't need this anymore, I only used a metre of this and I bought two. Um, sometimes I think they get used by businesses just as a way of getting rid of some of their spare fabric or their old fabric, which I don't really agree with um, and I find a bit frustrating. And also people post in several different groups, so you don't even know if you're going to get something. And also it can mean you see the same posting sort of three or four times depending on how many groups you're part of. So varying success um, in using D-stash groups. But I have picked up some cool things. So I've picked up this, which I think I might have shown you in a previous video. Um, this dinosaur, navy striped dinosaur jersey that I still can't decide whether I'm going to make contrast contrasting sleeves um, for this or whether I'm just going to make it as a t-shirt as it is um, and I picked up this which is above me here uh, which used to be part of a curtain <laughs> and is now going to be a Stevie top and it's I don't know if you can see but it's uh, Mario fabric so uh, I think you can see I'll show you see how fun that's going to be it's the yoke of a Stevie top because there is not enough for the whole thing but I'm quite excited. And then sort of a subset of that D-stash category is private D-stash groups. And by that, I mean D-stash groups where only the admins are allowed to post things for sale. And there's a couple of those. Um, one is run by um, some people who sell, who make clothes for babies and sell them to make kids clothes. And then they sell their leftover pieces, um, which I think is quite good um value and things it's not super super cheap but um if you're kind of looking for a smallish amount of something so i've picked up a couple of things from the from that group and um, that's called the sewing buddies d slash group and then there's also one called sleepy hedgehog which i have linked before in a previous video and that's two um two people gusa and sanim and they post um sort of off-cut fabrics that they get sent in big bundles a little bit like bblb but generally smaller pieces and generally not as much of each so whereas bblb you sell you, you can kind of go in and they'll say eight meters available um this is like one piece is this size so i've picked up a few things from them my latest being this which i think is really cool i love my blue and greens um, that I'm probably just going to make sleeves from. It's only a small piece, but this was like two pounds. Um, this is kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> you know how I like space and dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, quite happy about that. This is a French terry, but very lightweight French terry. Um, and this wasn't very expensive. I can't remember how much it is. Um, they're generally reasonably cheap and postage is kind of between £1.50 and £3, depending on how big the pieces are and how much you buy. This I'm very excited about, this jersey. This even got a husband's seal of approval. Um, so that's category two with its kind of subsets. And then there's like a middle ground category, which isn't even the third and a half <laughs> um, one. But uh, the third category is custom fabric groups. And the reason I say there's a middle ground is because you also get, they're called buy, sell, trade groups that are kind of specific to custom groups. And they're like a D-stash group. I'm not making any sense here, am I? I'll try and summarise at the end. Um, now, custom fabric, if you haven't heard of it before, um, 
it operates like pre-orders so um there might be 10 or 15 prints that the um the owner of the custom fabric group designs and then um you have a certain amount of time that you can order in a whole number of different bases um so normally it's cotton lycra woven um french terry bamboo lycra um swim fabric um minky or fluff you know that a whole range of different fabrics and then as long as they reach a certain sort of amount um, that order then goes off to the printer the printers are usually based in china and then you can wait six to twelve weeks for your fabric to come um i had never heard of this <laughs> the custom fabric printing that i knew of was spoon flower and i'd never i didn't know it existed and so for this one i blame l who is so positivity on instagram who operates as a strike sewist for a lot of these custom groups and that means that um so before the pre-order goes live um the owner or the shop will get some of each type of fabric or some of each design usually on just the cotton lycra base printed and they'll send them out to a number of sewers to um to make something in to kind of showcase the the, the design as, as a bit of an advert for the round that's coming up and um so it's kind of a little bit like a blogger team but it's before the fabric is available so that um yeah people can see what it's what it's going to look like the scale and and um, things like that so yeah earl is to blame for that <laughs> because there's lots of these custom groups around loads of them um, a lot of them are based in America and I discovered a particular fabric round which was gaming related that I loved from Elephant House Fabrics um, through Elle's page on Instagram and uh, ordered some. <laughs> now postage from the States is very expensive but I am lucky that I am going to my friend's house in New York in November so she is kindly collecting some fabric for me so that I can pick them up there so I'm gonna have to wait a long time for them but I'm very excited about those so elephant house fabrics I tend to keep an eye on there's whimsy bay custom group there's um squirrel cat who had an amazing dinosaur and cosmo round dinosaurs in space I only ordered a yard yeah good on me <laughs> good on my bank balance um that's all I'm going to say here for now, but I might link a few more in the description box. They're the ones in the US. Then there is um, Material Girl Australia, who runs a similar thing in Australia, although she doesn't ship, as far as I'm aware, internationally at all. So if you're in Australia, <laughs> check her out. Um, and then in Japan, there is one called Kira Kira Fabrics. And they also ran a gaming round quite recently for Mario Fabrics, which I have some coming to me. Um, they're shipping in standard flat rate internationally. So um, I've sucked that one up and <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. Um, I've, got, I've got a little bit on order there. Uh, they did Zelda and Mario. And um, in the UK, there's Dark Violet. So I was very kindly offered some fabric to strike. So um, for Steph at Dark Violet Fabric which was my tentacle BB skirt and my mental, mental health awareness um, t-shirt, which was like wearing my heart on my sleeve. And, and I've recently bought this from Steph at Dark Violet, which is so lovely. Look at it. I really want to sew this for Sewing Monochrome May because almost all of my monochrome fabrics are black and white, but um, monochrome is also you know the same tone of several several tones of the same color and um this would be such a cool and um, and if i just go back to that buy sell trade groups so you do see a lot of the um custom fabrics on the d stash groups for extortionate amounts of money yeah, these because... buy sell trade groups so some some of those custom fabric companies have specific d stash groups for their fabrics only um but so buy sell trade so that's kind of like a halfway between the d stash group and the custom fabric so the final three and a half 
fabric uh, buying experience on Facebook is through groups like pre-order groups and chat groups for normal existing uh, fabric shops. So the two that I'm part of for the UK are Caboodle and Lubadoo. And you've heard me talk about Lubadoo loads. <laughs> I'm part of the Caboodles group, but I've actually never made a purchase from Caboodle. And um, they sell a similar type of fabric to Lubadoo, normally quite quirky print, um, kids print really, but shh, it's not kids print. <laughs> I want to wear it. Um, and so Laurel at Lubadoo will often put up um, pre-orders or flash sales or things on her Facebook group which um yeah i use and you can get a bit of bargain or find out what fabrics are coming up next so i don't think i've got anything of hers to hand <laughs> no i do i have this this pre-order i'm not very good at keeping things up the right way today um which i think i might have shown you before so i got two meters of this and i got it before i went up on the shop website and um before Laurel even had it so I waited a little while for it and uh, yeah I got it a little bit cheaper than it would have gone <laughs> live and I think that it's a good way for the shops to kind of gauge interest so they might post you know 30 different fabrics as a pre-order and then if some of them aren't very popular then they won't order them and that saves them a lot of money so I guess it's worth the kind of little discount that individuals get so yeah I'm really tempted to make a deer and, a deer and doe Sirocco jumpsuit from this. I've only got two metres and I think I need two and a half really but I'm tempted to try and play some pattern Tetris with it because that would be really cool. <laughs> I'm too excited about that aren't I? So anyway that's a little foray into the world of buying fabric on Facebook. So I hope that's been interesting. I'd really love to know if you buy fabric on Facebook and where you do because it's just a world I didn't know existed and you know now there's no social media I can go on without being tempted to buy fabric oh my bank balance is gonna be uh, very unhappy anyway uh, thank